Are you tired of self-sabotage holding you back from reaching your full potential? Do you find yourself stuck in a cycle of self-defeating behaviors that prevent you from achieving your goals? In today's video, we'll delve into the wisdom of the legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi and explore how his teachings can help you break the cycle of self-sabotage. Stay tuned to discover the powerful strategies that can empower you to overcome obstacles and transform your life for the better. Step 1. Be aware of self-sabotage. The first step in breaking the cycle of self-sabotage is to be aware of its presence in our lives. Self-sabotage often manifests in subtle ways, such as procrastination, negative self-talk, self-doubt, and fear of failure. By becoming conscious of these patterns and behaviors, we can start to unravel the beliefs and thought patterns that hold us back. Self-awareness is the key that unlocks the door to breaking free from the cycle of self-sabotage. It is the foundation upon which we can build a life filled with purpose, success, and fulfillment. When we are self-aware, we are able to recognize the self-sabotaging behaviors and thought patterns that have been holding us back. We can see how these patterns are preventing us from reaching our full potential and living the life we desire. Procrastination is one of the most common forms of self-sabotage. It is the act of delaying or avoiding tasks that need to be done, often out of fear or discomfort. Procrastination can prevent us from achieving our goals and realizing our dreams. By being aware of our tendency to procrastinate, we can begin to take steps to overcome it. We can break tasks down into smaller, more manageable steps, set deadlines for ourselves, and create a supportive environment that encourages productivity. Negative self-talk is another insidious form of self-sabotage. It is the voice in our head that tells us we are not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to succeed. Negative self-talk can erode our self-confidence and lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. By becoming aware of our negative self-talk, we can challenge and reframe these destructive beliefs. We can replace self-criticism with self-compassion, affirm our strengths and abilities, and cultivate a more positive and empowering inner dialogue. Self-doubt is closely linked to negative self-talk and can hinder our progress and growth. It is the lack of confidence in our own abilities and judgment. Self-doubt can prevent us from taking risks, trying new things, and stepping outside of our comfort zone. By recognizing our self-doubt, we can work to build our self-esteem and self-assurance. We can take small steps towards our goals, celebrate our achievements, and remind ourselves of past successes to bolster our confidence. Fear of failure is perhaps the most paralyzing form of self-sabotage. It is the fear of making mistakes, falling short, or being judged by others. Fear of failure can prevent us from taking risks, pursuing our passions, and seizing opportunities for growth and advancement. By acknowledging our fear of failure, we can confront it head-on. We can reframe failure as a natural part of the learning process, a stepping stone to success. We can adopt a growth mindset, embrace challenges, and see setbacks as opportunities for growth and improvement. In the Book of Five Rings, Miyamoto Musashi teaches us the importance of mindfulness and presence in overcoming self-sabotage. He encourages us to observe our thoughts and emotions with detachment, without getting caught up in them. By cultivating this awareness, we can begin to see the patterns and triggers that lead us to self-sabotage. We can learn to respond to challenges with clarity and focus, rather than react out of fear or habit. Being aware of self-sabotage is the first step towards breaking free from its grip. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-transformation that requires courage, honesty, and perseverance. By shining a light on our self-sabotaging behaviors and beliefs, we can begin to dismantle them and create new, empowering ways of being. We can reclaim our power, our potential, and our future. Step 2. Find the reason why you sabotage yourself. Once we are aware of our self-sabotaging behaviors, the next step is to dig deep and uncover the underlying reasons behind them. Self-sabotage often stems from past traumas, fears, insecurities, and limiting beliefs that we have internalized over time. 
By exploring our inner landscape and reflecting on our past experiences, we can start to unravel the roots of our self-destructive tendencies. To start this journey of self-discovery, take a moment to reflect on your patterns of self-sabotage. Consider the situations where you tend to sabotage yourself and how it affects your goals and well-being. By recognizing these behaviors, you can begin to explore the deeper reasons driving them. It's essential to approach this process with compassion and self-awareness, as uncovering the underlying causes of self-sabotage can be challenging and emotional. One common reason for self-sabotage is rooted in past traumas or negative experiences. Events from your childhood or past relationships can shape your beliefs about yourself and the world, leading to self-sabotaging behaviors as a way to protect yourself from potential pain or failure. By examining these past wounds with empathy and understanding, you can start to untangle the connections between your history and your present actions. Fears and insecurities play a significant role in perpetuating self-sabotage. Deep-seated fears of rejection, failure, success, or inadequacy can drive you to engage in behaviors that sabotage your own progress and hinder your growth. It's essential to identify these underlying fears and address them with honesty and compassion. By confronting your fears head-on, you can diminish their power over you and create space for positive change in your life. Limiting beliefs also contribute to self-sabotage by creating barriers to your success and happiness. These beliefs, often ingrained in your subconscious mind, shape your self-image and influence your behaviors and decisions. Common limiting beliefs include, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve success, or I'm destined to fail. By challenging these beliefs and replacing them with empowering ones, you can shift your mindset from self-defeating to self-empowering. External influences such as societal expectations, familial dynamics, or peer pressure can also fuel self-sabotage. Messages from society or significant others about what success, happiness, or worthiness look like may conflict with your true desires and values, leading you to sabotage yourself to meet external standards. It's crucial to differentiate between external expectations and your authentic self, and to prioritize your own well-being and fulfillment above others' expectations. In the process of uncovering the reasons behind your self-sabotage, practicing mindfulness and self-reflection can be invaluable tools. Mindfulness helps you become more aware of your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in the present moment, allowing you to observe your patterns without judgment. Self-reflection involves looking inward and examining your inner landscape with curiosity and openness, fostering deeper self-understanding and insight. Miyamoto Misashi's wisdom underscores the importance of courageously facing your inner demons and shadows to transform self-sabotage into self-empowerment. By diving deep into your psyche, embracing vulnerability, and acknowledging your wounds, you can begin the journey of healing and growth. Remember that the path to self-discovery and self-transformation is a process that requires patience, self-compassion, and dedication. By taking the time to explore the root causes of your self-sabotage and nurturing self-awareness, you can empower yourself to break free from destructive patterns and cultivate a life filled with purpose, authenticity, and fulfillment. Step 3. Notice the cycle of self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is often a recurring pattern that plays out in our lives, sabotaging our relationships, careers, health, and overall well-being. It's crucial to recognize this cycle and the triggers that set it in motion. Whether it's a fear of success, fear of failure, fear of judgment, or fear of not being worthy, these underlying fears and insecurities drive our self-sabotaging behaviors. Miyamoto Musashi emphasizes the importance of being vigilant and observant of our thoughts and actions in order to recognize when we are falling into the trap of self-sabotage. This awareness allows us to interrupt the automatic responses that perpetuate the cycle of self-destructive behavior. By pausing and reflecting on our thoughts and emotions, we can gain insight into the underlying beliefs and fears that drive our actions. Our past experiences, traumas, and conditioning shape our beliefs and behavior patterns, leading us to repeat the same self-destructive cycles. Breaking free from the cycle of self-sabotage 
requires a willingness to challenge our limiting beliefs, confront our fears, and make conscious choices that align with our goals and values. Noticing the cycle of self-sabotage also involves recognizing the specific triggers or situations that activate our self-destructive behaviors. These triggers can vary from person to person and may include stressful situations, criticism, rejection, uncertainty, change, or even success. By identifying these triggers, we can develop strategies to cope with them effectively and prevent ourselves from falling into old patterns of behavior. Self-awareness is a powerful tool in breaking the cycle of self-sabotage. By cultivating a mindful and non-judgmental attitude towards ourselves, we can observe our thoughts and emotions with clarity and compassion. This awareness allows us to detach from our automatic reactions and choose a more constructive response in challenging situations. By being vigilant and observant of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, we can unravel the underlying beliefs and fears that drive our self-destructive patterns. Through self-awareness and conscious choice, we can transform self-sabotage into self-empowerment and cultivate a mindset of growth and resilience. Step 4. Self-Sabotaging Thoughts Our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. For better or for worse, self-sabotaging thoughts often manifest as inner critics, self-doubt, perfectionism, and negative self-talk. These thoughts create a toxic inner environment that undermines our confidence, creativity, and potential for growth. One common form of self-sabotaging thought is the inner critic. This voice in our heads constantly berates us, telling us that we are not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our goals. It magnifies our mistakes and shortcomings, making them seem larger than life and overshadowing any successes or strengths we may have. The inner critic is like a bully that lives rent-free in our minds, constantly tearing us down and keeping us from living up to our full potential. Another form of self-sabotaging thought is perfectionism. While it may seem like a positive trait on the surface, the constant pursuit of perfection can actually be detrimental to our well-being. Perfectionism sets impossibly high standards for ourselves and others, leading to feelings of inadequacy and failure when we inevitably fall short. This all-or-nothing mindset can prevent us from taking risks, trying new things, or pursuing our passions out of fear that we will not be able to meet our own unrealistic expectations. Negative self-talk is yet another manifestation of self-sabotaging thoughts. This is the voice in our heads that tells us we are not capable of success, that we are unworthy of love, or that we are destined to fail. This kind of toxic self-talk can create a self-fulfilling prophecy as we start to believe the negative stories we tell ourselves and act in ways that confirm those beliefs. It can keep us stuck in a cycle of self-doubt and self-sabotage, preventing us from taking action towards our goals and dreams. Breaking free from self-sabotaging thoughts requires a deep level of self-awareness and a commitment to challenging and changing our negative beliefs. One powerful tool for combating self-sabotage is mindfulness, the practice of being present and aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. By becoming more mindful of our inner dialogue, we can start to identify the self-sabotaging thoughts that hold us back and replace them with more positive and empowering beliefs. Another effective strategy for overcoming self-sabotage is to practice self-compassion. Rather than constantly criticizing ourselves for our perceived flaws and shortcomings, we can learn to treat ourselves with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness. By cultivating a sense of self-compassion, we can create a more nurturing and supportive inner environment that allows us to flourish and grow. When we catch ourselves engaging in negative self-talk or self-doubt, we can ask ourselves if there is any real evidence to support those beliefs. More often than not, we will find that our self-sabotaging thoughts are based on misconceptions, distortions, or outdated beliefs that no longer serve us. Talking to a trusted friend, mentor, or therapist can provide valuable insights and perspectives that can help us challenge our self-sabotaging thoughts and develop more positive and empowering beliefs. By acknowledging and addressing our self-sabotaging thoughts, 
we can break free from the cycle of self-destructive patterns and create a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Just as Miyamoto Musashi encourages us to master our thoughts and direct them towards positive beliefs, we too can cultivate a mind that is clear, focused, and empowering. With practice, patience, and persistence, we can learn to silence the voices of self-doubt and negativity and unleash our true potential for growth and transformation. Step 5. Emotions Created by Self-Sabotage when we engage in self-sabotaging behaviors, we are often driven by a complex mix of negative emotions that serve as fuel for our self-destructive tendencies. These emotions create a tangled web within us, weaving a narrative of fear, anxiety, shame, guilt, and unworthiness that can keep us trapped in a cycle of self-sabotage and self-defeat. Fear is a powerful emotion that can paralyze us, making us avoid taking risks or stepping out of our comfort zones. It can manifest as a fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown, leading us to sabotage our own efforts to protect ourselves from perceived threats. This fear can be deeply ingrained within us, rooted in past experiences or limiting beliefs that prevent us from moving forward and reaching our full potential. Anxiety is another common emotion that often accompanies self-sabotage. It can manifest as a constant state of worry, restlessness, and unease, making it difficult for us to stay grounded and focused on our goals. This underlying anxiety can drive us to seek relief in self-destructive behaviors, such as procrastination, perfectionism, or seeking external validation, which only serve to perpetuate our cycle of self-sabotage. Shame and guilt are insidious emotions that can weigh heavily on our minds and hearts, leading us to believe that we are fundamentally flawed or unworthy of success and happiness. These emotions can arise from past mistakes, perceived shortcomings, or societal expectations, creating a sense of self-condemnation that fuels our self-sabotaging behaviors. We may engage in self-sabotage as a way to punish ourselves for our perceived failings or to avoid facing the discomfort of acknowledging our mistakes and taking responsibility for them. Feelings of unworthiness can also play a significant role in self-sabotage, causing us to doubt our own abilities, worth, and deservingness of good things in life. When we believe deep down that we are not good enough or deserving of success, we may engage in behaviors that undermine our efforts and prevent us from achieving our goals. This sense of unworthiness can stem from early childhood experiences, negative self-talk, or comparison with others, creating a toxic mindset that sabotages our self-esteem and self-confidence. The emotions created by self-sabotage form a complex feedback loop that can keep us trapped in a cycle of self-destructive behaviors and negative self-talk. As we continue to engage in self-sabotage, these emotions are reinforced, deepening our sense of powerlessness, hopelessness, and resignation. We may find ourselves stuck in a pattern of repeating the same self-sabotaging behaviors even when we know they are not serving us or leading us towards our desired outcomes. In order to break free from the cycle of self-sabotage, it is essential to acknowledge and process these underlying emotions with compassion and mindfulness. Instead of suppressing or ignoring our emotions, we can learn to embrace them with curiosity and openness allowing ourselves to fully experience and understand the root causes. By shining a light on our fears, anxieties, shame, guilt, and unworthiness, we can begin to unravel the tangled web of emotions that fuel our self-sabotaging behaviors. Miyamoto Musashi teaches us the importance of mastering our emotions and cultivating emotional resilience in the face of adversity. He encourages us to view our emotions as valuable sources of information and energy that can be channeled towards positive action and growth. By approaching our emotions with mindfulness and self-awareness, we can learn to respond to them in a healthy and constructive way, rather than reacting impulsively or destructively. Through the practice of emotional self-regulation and self-reflection, we can begin to untangle the knots of negative emotions that keep us trapped in the cycle of self-sabotage. By developing greater emotional intelligence and self-awareness, we can learn to navigate our internal landscape with clarity and compassion. 
paving the way for healing, growth, and transformation. As we cultivate a deeper understanding and acceptance of our emotions, we can liberate ourselves from the grip of self-sabotage and forge a path of self-mastery and inner strength. By acknowledging and processing these emotions with compassion and mindfulness, we can begin to unravel the root causes of our self-sabotaging behaviors and take proactive steps towards healing and growth. Through the practice of emotional mastery and self-awareness, we can break free from the cycle of self-sabotage and cultivate a sense of inner resilience, empowerment, and self-love. Miyamoto Musashi's teachings remind us of the transformative power of emotions and the potential for growth and self-discovery that lies within each of us. Step 6. Low Self-Esteem Low self-esteem is like wearing a pair of glasses that distorts our vision, making us see ourselves in a negative light. It's like having a little voice in our heads that constantly puts us down, telling us we're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. This inner critic feeds on our insecurities and fears, holding us back from taking risks, pursuing our dreams, and reaching our full potential. When we have low self-esteem, we tend to compare ourselves to others, always feeling like we fall short. We magnify our flaws and imperfections, while dismissing our strengths and accomplishments. This negative self-talk becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, shaping our beliefs, attitudes, and actions in ways that reinforce our low sense of self-worth. But Miyamoto Musashi teaches us that self-esteem is not fixed or predetermined. It is something that we can cultivate and nurture through self-awareness, self-compassion, and self-acceptance. By acknowledging our worthiness and embracing our uniqueness, we can start dismantling the walls of self-doubt and self-criticism that keep us trapped in a cycle of self-sabotage. When we show ourselves the same level of respect and care that we would extend to others, we start building a foundation of self-esteem that is rooted in self-love and self-empowerment. Self-discipline is another cornerstone of overcoming low self-esteem. Musashi teaches us the value of setting goals, creating routines, and developing positive habits that support our growth and well-being. By committing to a practice of self-discipline, we demonstrate to ourselves that we are capable of change, progress, and success. This sense of mastery and accomplishment helps boost our confidence and self-esteem, showing us that we have the power to shape our destiny and create the life we desire. Moreover, Musashi reminds us that true greatness lies in embracing our vulnerabilities and imperfections. Instead of hiding our shortcomings or pretending to be someone we're not, he encourages us to embrace our humanity and authenticity with courage and humility. By accepting ourselves fully, flaws and all, we free ourselves from the burden of perfectionism and self-judgment, allowing our true essence to shine through. To break the cycle of self-sabotage caused by low self-esteem, we must also challenge the negative beliefs and thought patterns that hold us back. Musashi invites us to question our inner critic, challenge its assumptions, and replace destructive self-talk with affirmations of self-worth and empowerment. By consciously choosing to reframe our self-perception in a positive light, we can reprogram our subconscious mind and create a new narrative of self-love and self-acceptance. Overall, breaking the cycle of self-sabotage is a journey of self-discovery, self-mastery, and self-transformation. By following the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi and embracing the wisdom of the ancient samurai, we can overcome our inner obstacles, unleash our true potential, and live a life of purpose, passion, and fulfillment. May his timeless teachings inspire and empower you to break free from the cycle of self-sabotage and unleash the warrior within.